I'm State Representative J.T. Wilcox. I'm the House Republican leader down here in Olympia, and uh, we're finishing up the second week of the 2022 legislative session, and we're beginning to see what's uh, going to happen this year. First of all, I, I would say it's characterized by the Democratic majority retreating on a lot of things. Uh, we've talked a lot about the um, disastrous public safety uh, reform bills of uh, last year, and uh, there are some corrections being placed there. Probably not enough, uh, but we're going to keep working hard on that. This week, the big news really was uh, about the delay of another disastrous program, and that is the long-term health care tax that was passed a few years ago uh, is uh, unsustainable, very unpopular. In fact, it was so unpopular that although the tax was supposed to hit anyone that's on a payroll, this month, the governor said that uh, he was urging employers not to impose that tax pending uh, Democrats in the House and Senate uh, delaying the impact so that they could fix the bill. Well, that uh, happened in the House yesterday, and it wasn't in a way that I think is very helpful for most of us. House Republicans have uh, recognized that there is a big problem uh, for people who don't have the means to pay for uh, catastrophic care uh, in uh, the future. And we've proposed a private sector solution that is affordable and voluntary. And unfortunately, the majority Democrats in the House don't want to talk about that. There was no hearing allowed for that. And uh, their bills were drafted in such a way that there was not even a useful way to amend them. So yesterday, there was an 18-month delay in implementation of the Democratic plan passed. Uh, I voted for that. I think that is a good idea because in 2023, it's quite likely that there will be a wiser legislature in place and we can build a system that will work for people all over Washington. There was also a bill passed that uh, allowed more people to opt out. 25% uh, of the payroll in Washington has already opted out and it would add some benefits to other people. Uh, it's important that these things get recognized, but in this context, that just meant that the program is less sustainable in the future. My plan is to come back in 23 before any of you have to pay for it and pass the private sector affordable option that we presented yesterday. Thanks, everybody.